Hey guys, Mick from Liquid Existence here. Uh, yeah, today I don't know if you can hear it through the mic, but um, it's blowing its butt off. It's probably well over 30, 30 knots, and it's pretty much been like that for the whole weekend. So anyhow, I thought um, I'll start going through my boat and preparing for, for the summer, summer bite. And um, yeah, I thought I'd just go through a, a few top orders with you guys. Well, I sort of use around, I guess, the Clarence and in most places really, just depending on uh, the conditions and, and what sort of structure I'm fishing. So I guess the first one um, uh, I'll talk about is a, the Sugar Pen 70. It's not a bad little lure. Um, it, it's very good at really just um, burning, burning that lure. So it's good for whiting, um, also for brim as well. And yeah, if you can see there, it's just got like a, a little cup there. Um, that's the, uh, the the go of it, but um, the profile off of it, yeah. So 70 mil, um, not too bad. It can be a little bit fiddly walking the dog, but you definitely can walk the dog with it. Okay, so the next one I hope is in everyone's tackle box. And that's the Bent Minnow from OSP now. Tried a few different imitation ones, and I don't know. I just think the OSP ones the the goods. Um, yeah, I've tried other sorts, but yeah, just not really. I don't know what whether it's a weight thing or whatever whatever it may be. But um, uh, basically, with these things, it's sort of like a walk the dog motion. Boom, 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 and you try and really drop it hard on that last um, last pull and then just let it sink back up. Now, basically, by then a fish, if it's around, should be interested in it. Now, what I like to do with it is just sort of dig it into the water once or twice, just slowly, um, and just let it float back up the top and sit there. And what you'll find is the brim will just sort of nip at it and um, it's only a matter of time before they hook themselves. So it's a great versatile lure. As you can see, it is, it is quite bent. Um, now some people do trick these up a little bit. I tend to not worry about it too much. I've tried it in the past, but I just I don't know if it's really made all that difference. So it's sort of, sort of something, something that I'd never hang my hat on to this date. But um, look, I know plenty of people do change these out for the ZX hooks, uh, assist hooks. But um, once again, yeah, it's up to the individual angler. All right, next one's a dilemma popper. It's not one that I use a lot, but I do like using it when I don't want to spook too much fish or really create that splash in the water. Um, it's a very subtle popper and it's got a nice little spit. Um, you can do the walk the dog action with it, but yeah, I usually find myself using this more around perhaps the pontoons or, or things like that, uh, where it's, you know, it could be very still water up in the canal system. So um, yeah, it's not a bad little one. Like I said, I don't use it a lot. It does come with the feathers on it. I don't know whether that makes a difference with them. Um, I tend don't. I tend to think that they don't. But um, you know, once again, um, it's up to you know, each angler to decide on what they use and and uh, what they like and what they don't like about lures. So let's have a look there. You can see they're quite a small cup. The cups very very small, um, and then the profile of it there. So, but yeah, very small cup on the on that. Very similar to. Um, uh, your sugar pen. Okay, well this one here, I believe they brought out a chubby uh, that's very similar to this now, but this this is a jackal and it was SK uh, Pup, I think it's called. Now I actually got this one over from Japan, but um, at the time, the reason why I got it was I love the, the Suji colour in this uh, and all the jackal lures. But um, yeah, that, there wasn't really much in Australia sort of similar to this at the time. This is actually barely our lure. Um, but if you really wanted to make a big blop in the water, heaps of distortion, uh, this is the one for you. Um, it's very noisy. You can really make a, a real, I guess the word, plop with a popper. Um, and you can cast it a mile. It's actually quite heavy. I think that there's some weight in the middle there. See some weight in the middle. That's a profile of it, and um, yeah, that's that's the cup. It's actually quite a deep round cup, so it's really good. Um, 
to use against yeah yeah i guess your brim your winding I, I, I like it more with the brim to be honest with you if you're really just trying to get that uh reaction they do tend to stir them up all right second last bit of an old favorite of mine dog x junior medina bone so basically walk the dog and um once again there's a lot of similar ones out out on the market that are very similar to these I just really like this particular lure. Um, the magnets in the back of it, uh, or the balls in the back of it, feel like they're somewhat, I don't know, like they just click together. And if I just hold that up to the mic, um, it's a real, yeah, noisy sort of lure, I guess. But, um, you know, walk, walk the dog action. And same, you know, you can sort of do it with the bent minnow, I guess, with the broom, is you can just boom, 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 burn it. And basically, it sits back down in the water like this. Then you just pop, 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 lay still, or just pop and lay still. And usually, you find the brim is sort of looking at it and, and thinking of striking it. So, um, the bass love these as well. Um, you can just walk the dog straight out of wherever you've cast it into. And uh, yeah, the poor old bass can't help themselves. It's really, really good lure. Last but not least, um, this one doesn't get too much recognition, I usually, uh, well I don't see much recognition for this lure on, on a lot of social media and I, I, I really don't know why. Um, this is one versatile lure, this is the Skinny Pop Junior. Um, it's also 70 mil, but uh, it's just such a versatile lure. Um, we can walk the dog with it, we can really, we can spit the water or spit it far. Um, it's just got a really nice round, small but deep cup. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very skinny profile as well. So um, the whiting absolutely love this thing, um, as do the brim. And it's just one of them things, again, like twitch, twitch, fours. And um, the brim can't help themselves. But uh, very, very versatile. If, if there was ever something that I'd say that was negative about it is... Um, I'd like it to be maybe just a fraction more heavier for casting, but generally speaking, it, it casts pretty well. So, um, but I, I remember going fishing, I don't know, five years ago and, and, um, and using this particular lure, and I think I might have caught 40 odd whiting in an hour or so. Like, they just loved it. Uh, and the reason why I think they like it, particularly the whiting, is um, they're always chasing jelly prawn, prawns up on the flats. Uh, this how this spits water, uh, I guess a little bit of the profile of it, but how it spits the water, it does imitate when a few jelly prawns start jumping around, so um, it really does attract the whiting in, it's a, it's a really good lure. But yeah, so the reason why I pulled these out too guys is that I know if you've seen it with the close-ups that um, probably all the hooks need to be changed, um, a little bit rusty, I guess they only probably see the water eight months of the year um, with the sort of fishing that I do. But um, now's the time to start getting all your top top water gear ready for the summer. And if I've missed out on something that is, um, you know, a really good top water, and I haven't mentioned it, and it's worth a mention, just drop something down in the comments box. I'd love to know. Um, I love using surfaces, um, and you know, obviously, when you're sight fishing for for fish, you know, um, surface is well up there in in uh, the enjoyment factor, I suppose. So. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. And like I said, if there's something that you know I should be using, then uh, drop me a line down below. And um, yeah, if you're into sailing at the moment, then I suggest that you get out there and put up the spinnaker because it's howling. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.